Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Twerton Park for today's Women's Junior Cup tie between Bow City Women and High Ridge United Ladies. City are looking to bounce back from last week's disappointing loss to Ilminster Ladies Reserves but won't find it easy against a new side from the division below who have started well. Today's game will highlight how much of a gap there is between the divisions if any. City are currently 6th of 10 in Division 1, with Division 2 North outfit Highbridge 2nd after 6 games, where they have only conceded 3 goals, none of them away from home. It promises to be an intriguing tie, and if the sides are level at 90 minutes, we all go straight to the dreaded penalties. Matt Abreu has made 3 changes from last week's starting 11, with Olivia Dello, Ashanti Golding and Emily Bristow in for Esme Fensum, Ali Digutis and Corin Jones. They'll be playing 4-2-3-1 and line up as follows. In goal, Sophie Campbell. Back four right to left of Keris Evans, Harley Curtis, Paige Owen Jordan and Olivia Dello. Holding midfielders of Tara Taylor and Chelsea Giles. Attacking three, Emily Bristow, Annie Hervey and Ashanti Golding. With Tamia Wright up front alone. The subs for City are Tracy Hartnett, Amy Hucker, Esme Fenson, Ali Daigutis and Liv Davis. For High Ridge United, we think they're going to line up similarly. In goal will be Kerry Edwards, a back four of Louise Edwards, Jess Bailey, Jodie Fitzgerald and Emma Fluck, holding the fielders of Victoria Elliott and Kate Gardner. An attacking three of Stevie J. Froome, Lou Robbins and Lacey Westcott, with Carmella Manchinetti up front alone. On the bench for at High Ridge, Tammy Wake, Sapphire Cower, Leanne Mitchell, Ellie Billetiri and Kate Febri. Today's referee is David Smith. So it's High Ridge United to get this game underway. Women's Junior Cup tie here at Twerton Park, tucking towards the Bristol end. Loose clearance to Hervey. He takes aim, and there's a good gather in the end from Edwards. Hervey scored from distance last week, trying a luck again. The 85 is the highest run. Here's Taylor, um, Hervey rather, by Giles. It's a clever ball, actually, and Wright is onto it and puts it wide. Keeper advanced, did well. It was a very clever ball from Herbie, looking for Golding all right. Dello to take him, missed last week through injury. Brings it to Taylor, now Herbie's in space. She fancy a go, she does, and this time puts it just over the angle of post and crossbar. She does well, actually, under pressure. But lost it now to Bristow. Wright's waiting in the middle. Bristow is a delicious ball, Golding. Plays it back across, now right with the back heel, and it's gathered from the goalkeeper, Edwards. Now Hervey, there's another go from distance, as Hervey gets a head on to right, picks it up. Square to Giles, and again, it's too close to the goalkeeper, very overworked in these early stages. Now Giles, managed to find Hervey near the edge of the penalty area. Through to right, the flag stays dying and could save again from Edwards. Wright's kept it in play. Not closed down. Chips it to the back post. So Bristow heads it into a good area. They still can't get it fully away. Here's Dello. Now Taylor. Hervey looked offside. The flag didn't go up, but it's gathered in the end from goalkeeper Edwards. This is a one sided as it gets so far. They're trying to use her now, but well intercepted from Evans, trying to get an attack going. A quick player, he's come through the Massey Ranch this time, and that's too quick for her. Regular on terraces here as well, Keris Evans. Mum Jane and Dad Paul, the city for many a year. It's Giles now, with Golding to her left, still Giles has wonderful control, and a superb interception in the end, sliding from Louise Edwards. Real telling block, put her body on the line. But, uh, intricate close control from Giles is excellent to create the opening. Nice header to Hervey. Still Hervey. And he's another oh. shot. And might have been drifting wide, but the goalkeeper wasn't taking any chances. Okay, he's out of play for a corner. Owen doesn't beat the first player. And Robbins back in again from Owen. And Bristow. Eyes up for options. Goes to an arrow drive. It's good save from Edward. It's helped away from Fluck. And Taylor again. And Hervey. 
a ball in behind. Bristow should be onto it. Wright waiting in the middle. Plays it across. Wright tap in into the back of the net. But he's been chalked off for offside. Oh, I thought that was a breakthrough. It was a lovely move. It was Taylor. She's just getting a better guard now. No, Hervey. It's had plenty of efforts on goal already. She fancies another one. It bounces just wide. It's a good pressing from City. Here's Giles. Nice to find Bristow. She's fine, Bristow! And she's put it wide. Great ball from Giles, who picked it up loose in midfield. Taylor. And Foxes, Gardner. And Dello. She's got Fenceman in room on the left. Fenceman's Andy Bourne. Brave goalkeeping from Hervey. North side, back to Taylor. First time plays it back in and all the way through to the goalkeeper. I think it was an intended pass looking for Hervey. And Bristow. Inside to Taylor. Taylor shoots it, misses Hervey, and it misses Fenson as well. Taylor. Hervey, good strength from the attacking midfielder. Still Hervey, it's opened up for her. Hervey shoots, good save from goalkeeper. It's probably a pick of a stop so far from Kerry Edwards, but how Annie Hervey hasn't scored in the first half is a mystery. Trick from Taylor. Tries to thread it through, block from Robbins. Now Hervey. This time she's squared it for right and she's prodded it wide. I think the goalkeeper put her off a little bit. She tried to dink it over. The advancing stopper, but didn't get any lift or direction on it, and it goes out of play. Curtis and Owen. First three centre-backs combined well to deal with it. Oh, it looked like it gone out, actually, but it stayed in play from Froome. Important covering, though, from Curtis means that doesn't go any further. So no controversy, it didn't lead to anything as Taylor leads the ball away. Effortlessly skipped past the position in play. No. Right, makes it to Bristow, and Robbins takes no chances, puts it behind for a corner. Davis offering a short option. Fenton goes for it, and gathered well from Edwards. Robbins misses it, it's Bristow. Hervey's in space. Taylor behind. Back to Taylor with a cut, and what a goal from Tara Taylor. It's arguably the most difficult chance they've had of the first half, and she's floated it expertly into the roof of the net. Delightful from the captain, her third goal of the season, and Bar City finally break the deadlock. They lead by a goal to nil. That was a great goal. She'll look forward to watching that back. The YouTube views will be largely from her. <laughs> City just need to see at these closing stages, which they do, and they lead by a goal to nil at the end of the first half. A wonderful finish, and Tara Taylor separates the teams here in this Women's Junior Cup tie. Half time, Bath City women one, High Ridge ladies nil. Cora helps it forward. Elliot. Away from Digoot is still going there. It's a brilliant run. Goes to goal and straight into the hands of Campbell. First shot on target for Highridge. Gardner there to cover. Digutis helps it forward to Hervey. Shoots and it's not one of the best efforts. Scuffed it through the goalkeeper. And Hervey scored at that end last week. Similar distance actually. Digutis was superbly well, so volleyed the ball back forward. There's a loose ball now to right. Right, clever footwork. She squared it unselfish to Hervey, straight to the goalkeeper. It was a mistake from Fitzgerald and initially. Wright would have been forgiven for going alone, but she decided to square it, and Hervey still can't find the back of the net. Looks on to Wright. Still right, back to Digutis, and can't keep it down. Goes over the top. City holding midfielder. She's going to take actually rather than Owen. He normally takes it. She's gone into the box instead as Giles. It's a decent delivery and then he finds Owen. Fensum too close to the goalkeeper. Give chase and very well to keep the ball in play on the right hand side. Away from Fitzgerald. Now Giles. 
Giles and she slipped when she went to shoot. Taylor helps it on its way. Probably back forward. A bit uncertain from City, but the final shot is a poor one in the end from Mitchell, and it goes harmlessly wide. Only 20 minutes gone in this second half. City still leading by a goal to nil, but they've got a free kick to deal with here. Robbins takes it and drifts wide. Goalkeeper Campbell had it covered. Actually, Freeman's on there. She's only covering briefly to run the line. There's a difficult ball to deal with, and it just evaded Westcott and uh, Curtis as well, put her body in the way. Ball through and Owen does enough. Owen as well as Froome. Got two waiting in the middle and fortunate, City are fortunate the ball wasn't good enough. Westcott and Mancinetti were in oceans of space. Shanked clearance, here's right. Good back here now to Taylor and she tried to guide it into the bottom corner this time. I think the goalkeeper had it covered. Well read from Golding, now to right. Oh, she shot, she should have taken the ball further forward really. Footwork by Taylor, now to Giles. It's a go and it bounces awkwardly in front of the goalkeeper. Now Golding. Oh, and puts it into the side netting. Effort from Chelsea Giles has been impressive this afternoon. They just haven't really had any outlet, which is surprising by the number of goals they've scored this season. Here's Giles. Bristow, great ball, just away from Brist uh, from Hervey. And they look for a stoppage time second. Oh, City winning. Some delivery keeper can only get a hand on it. Now Bristow helps it over and onto the top of the bar and out. That would have killed off his tie completely. Not to be. If he looks at his watch. A slip in the back. Taylor needs to cover. No, a really important interception from Curtis. And that's the final interception of the game. Bar City progress to the next round of the Women's Junior Cup. Deservedly so, 1-0 winners over High Ridge United. So it's just Tara Taylor's goal which separates the teams. A fine goal at that, a memorable winner from the captain, her third of the season. That Abreu will be delighted. He'll be a bit frustrated that they didn't make more of their openings, but put under very little pressure in true. High Ridge never gave in, they defended well. But in the end, City were superior and they deserve the progress. And High Ridge, all the best in Division 2 North for the remainder of their campaign. They're still up there at the top of the table. They've got a lot to be happy with. It's only their first season this afternoon at Twerton Park, playing in front of a big stadium, in front of a free figure crowd. I know they've got enough in them to bounce back. And good to see them do well. I said before, we play the game in the right spirit. A sporting match once again. They seem happy with themselves regardless. Irrelevant the fact they've lost. Some teams who, when they've won so many games in succession, are quite bitter towards it, but not High Ridge. And a long campaign remaining, and uh, I'm sure they'll be hoping to reach Bow City's level next term. I wouldn't put it past them. So, full time at Twerton Park. Bow City women won. High Ridge United, ladies, 